congratulations on the win. Thank you. First of all, I know you spoke about it a little bit on the broadcast, but now you've had some time to digest. How much is this meaning to you right now? This means absolutely everything to me. I train day in and day out, and um, my fights in the UFC haven't really um, mirrored the, the hard work that I put in the gym. Um, and so tonight was really kind of me being able to showcase everything I have. You know, I'm not afraid to stand and bang with somebody, obviously. And then, uh, you know, I have a good ground game. And it's kind of underutilized. Maybe I could have hopped on it a little bit earlier in the fight. But at the end of the fight, I was able to dart him. And that was the only submission I threw up. And we really were only on the ground for uh, a matter of seconds. So uh, uh, maybe I could have used it, utilized it a little bit earlier. But I was happy with the outcome. Exactly how much notice did you have for this fight? Five days. What is it like trying to prepare for a fight on that short notice? Well, uh, it's every day is like part of a fight camp, really. I mean, we train hard as it is, and so we're always pretty ready. It's more of like uh, worried about the weight, you know. And so, um, you know, Monday I was 170 pounds when I woke up, and, you know, I was lucky enough that we did it at 150, and um, no problem, I made it. Uh, you know, cut was average, so it wasn't too bad of a cut and was able to just uh, come out and perform. But like I said, we train every day super hard, and... Um, I'm not really taking much time off, especially during the quarantine. Uh, there's nothing else to do, so we've just been training. <laughs> uh, in the second round, you were talking. I know your corner asked you to keep it classy uh, in between the second and the third. What exactly were you saying to him? Well, he wasn't saying keep it classy in the sense of not like talking crap because uh, uh, that's not how my coach is. He was telling me keep it classy, just not get punched in the head. You know, be a little bit cleaner with my technique. I was just getting punched too much. Makes sense. So he was, he was telling me to be classy in that sense, and I knew the the difference between it. Um, uh, I was just, you know, sometimes I feel the momentum starts to switch, and then uh, I figured if, you know, it's kind of a mental warfare, and I figured, you know, uh, if I start talking a little bit, it's going to, you know, give me more momentum. And uh, on his chest, he has a tattoo that says, born ready, and, um, uh, and so I kind of just told him that I was born ready. Um, I didn't really have anything else to think that I could say at the time, and then, you know, he landed a couple good shots, but it's just like, it's... There's nothing like that feeling of being in, you know, in a fight and getting punched and punching back and just see who the tougher man is. And sometimes I let that get the best of me, um, and maybe I shouldn't, but uh, I was just having a good time. In that environment, there's not many people in there. So yeah. Everyone could hear you. We saw people, reporters in there saying, oh, he's commentating his own fight almost. Yeah. Does it enter your head at all that, like, I could also sway the judges here if I talk loud enough? Oh, 100%. You know, it's all about confidence, and it's all about perception. Um, sometimes you fight guys, and... You know, if you've ever trained with a guy, you know how they are. And if you've never trained with them, you have no idea. So the perception could be different. And um, same with, like, you know, talking or just pressuring or, or trying to make yourself look good in front of the judges. You know, if you're talking, that obviously means you're, you know, confident. If you're even in between rounds, I just wanted to be upbeat. I want the judges to see that I don't need a, I don't need a stool to sit in. Um, I'm happy. I'm having a good time. Uh, I feel like I'm winning the fight regardless if I'm winning it or not. You know, I want them to know that that's how I feel. And... I want that to, you know, kind of push off onto them as well. Congrats, man. Thank you. Julian, this is your third time back in the UFC. I mean, I don't have to tell you, it's very hard for a lot of people to get the second chance. At some point when you were out, were you ever like, you know, maybe it's just not meant to happen for me? Uh, yeah, for sure. You know, you uh, start doubting yourself and start thinking, you know, what what am I doing wrong? And obviously, you got to if you're in the UFC, you have to win. You can't just... Uh, go out and do good and, and, and hope that you'll keep getting shots because you people who win still even get cut. And so for me, uh, I was just, I figured if I just keep putting the work in and staying in the gym with all the good coaches around me, they're going to see that I deserve to be here. And eventually something is going to happen, whether it was a different big organization or, you know, if I got to keep grinding and fight on small shows, uh, maybe I'll get a shot again. Um, I actually thought I would never fight in the octagon again after my last loss. And, um, but, you know, I love doing this stuff, and so I wasn't going to stop doing it. And I figured if I just stay in the gym, all the coaches, all the other managers, I mean, just people are just going to see me, you know, and they're going to just notice that I'm good enough to be here and uh, hopefully get a shot. And luckily for me, something like this pandemic has, you know, given me another shot in this uh, organization. Was there a particular moment that was like a turning point or was it more of a gradual process while you were away from the UFC? Oh, not at all. Um, after I got after I lost my last fight in the UFC, I had to take a you know a little bit of time off just because I got uh, KO'd and so you know you can't fight in, uh, on a show. But I, I I wanted to get back in there and 
you know, I fought uh, on a regional show in between uh, stints in the UFC recently and was able to get a win. Um, and so I was still training. I was still wanting to fight. I was still, uh, you know, pushing for it. And, uh, you know, there's so many guys out there that are grinding just like I am. You know, I, I train with every day that deserve to be here as well, you know, that haven't got that opportunity. So uh, who am I just to just stop training or stop doing what I love just because I'm not in the UFC anymore? You know, it doesn't make any sense to me. You know, I got to be there for my training partners and my coaches as well. Thank you.